My name is Mr. LaSell. I'm the uh, instructor for the conservation class. Uh, this is my fifth year teaching. Uh, and this is my, my classroom. Uh, we've got a 100 acre woodlot here uh, on the BOCES property connected to uh, the campus itself. Uh, we're currently doing some um, maple sugar uh, tapping for the spring unit. Uh, it's a two year program, juniors and seniors. Uh, from 12 different districts throughout the uh, Oneida, Herkimer, and Madison counties. Uh, we do a combination of natural resource management, environmental science, heavy equipment operation, uh, and surveying. Uh, we kind of mold them all into uh, to one program. Uh, first year we have um, typically do a lot of safety, uh, how-to training on heavy equipment, maintenance. Uh, second year we do a lot of uh, hands-on uh, we do a lot of job site um, renovations where we're going out into the community to help communities. We do a lot of work on uh, local school campuses, uh, town parks, things like that. Um, but typically, uh, we're outside. We spend uh, most of our time out here in the woods um, using heavy equipment, chainsaws, things like that. We do a lot of forest management while we're doing that. Uh, we cut firewood. We also run an FFA program here. Um, with my class along with uh, animal science. Um, FFA Future Farmers of America, we do uh, leadership skills, um, community um, projects, uh, things of that nature. So um, uh, my background, actually uh, I was a student here at BOCES in the conservation class. I became interested in a lot of the things that we learned uh, while I was here as a student. Uh, I went on to get my forestry degree. Uh, I was a forest manager, which I still am, uh, on the side. Uh, did some forest management work for several different companies in several different states. Uh, came back here to give back to the students for what was given to me. So I really enjoy my job. I love it here. Yeah, things come full circle for me here. This is our, uh, our greenhouse for the conservation class. Um, kind of split it up into two different sections. And uh, typically it's going to be like conservation one, the first year students are going to be in the, in the second section, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this section that you see here uh, is typically held for the conservation two, the senior class. Uh, what we have here is um, an aquaponics system. So you see a lot of lettuce and basil and green growing in our systems here. We've got a pond. We've got a bunch of different systems set up throughout the area with water running through it. Um, you don't see any soil in here. There's no soil at all. You may see stuff that looks like soil, but it's not necessarily soil. Uh, all the nutrients that come into to feed all these plants are gonna come from those two blue tanks right there, uh, which I'll show you in a second. They have fish in them and the fish poop in the water. It goes through a chemical process. Uh, it's a natural chemical process. Uh, we're converting um, all that fish poop into to good material for the plants to be able to use. Um, so let me show you the fish. Everybody likes to see the fish. There are some fish in this tank. You can kind of see them floating around. There's a few small ones in there. We have uh, a couple different species of fish. These are our tilapia. Uh, this is our, first genera uh, our fifth generation of tilapia. We continue to breed the same generation that we have. So you see many different sizes in there. So you got some, uh, some adults, um, we got some babies, and we got everything in between. Um, over here, we've got a, uh, a koi tank. So we got some large koi, very colorful fish. Uh, we also got a large pleco in the bottom that's a bottom feeder that kind of keeps our, our tanks clean. So, uh, so these, these fish get fed. The fish food, really the only thing that we put into the system, uh, the fish eat the food, they poop in the water. It goes through a, a couple series of filters, gets dumped into the water, and then it gets circulated through all these other plant systems here in the greenhouse, uh, and they use nutrients to, to grow. So. It's quite fun. The students design pretty much all the different systems after doing some research. They do a, um, a presentation on what they, are, they think they're going to do. Uh, and then they actually build it. And then throughout the year, we monitor each system. We see what's working, what's not, how are we going to change it. Uh, and at the end of the year, we do, uh, they do another big presentation. Uh, and they talk about the same stuff, what worked throughout the year, what would they change. Um, so it's a great uh, activity that uh, the kids get to do throughout the entire year, uh, regardless of the weather, what, what it's doing outside. Okay, so this is uh, the, conservation, the Conservation Learning Center. This is where we house all of our heavy equipment. 
uh, chainsaws, our maple evaporator. Uh, we do all our maintenance down here on the equipment. We do our pre-checks. Um, and we also do some of our exterior stuff in the winter down here in the pole barn as well because we got more room to spread out. Um, so we have a, um, a bulldozer. This is a 650 case bulldozer. It's about five years old. Um, it doesn't have a lot of hours on it. It's a great machine uh, because of our woodlot. It's, as you guys see, well, it's the winter time now, but um, it, it can get kind of wet and swampy out there. So um, we use this as a versatile machine, not just for road building and excavating, but also for skidding logs and pulling other equipment out when it gets stuck. So um, this is probably one of the uh, most important pieces of equipment we have in our arsenal here for the conservation class. Uh, over here, um, we have a uh, New Holland backhoe. Uh, it's a LB75 and uh, we share it with the maintenance department, uh, but they always make sure that we have it when class is going. Uh, but we do, we keep the covers off obviously so that we can do regular maintenance on it. Every day we do our pre-checks on all the equipment. Uh, students got to fill out a form every single day. Um, so we not only teach them how to drive these things, uh, how to operate them safely, but we also teach them how to maintain them so that way they can run and they can check for uh, leaks and different things that are going to go wrong ahead of time. Um, so that way they can avoid breakdowns throughout the year. Also still part of the Conservation Learning Center. We've got an old, old backhoe here, um, but we, it still works really well. Uh, you can see we've got a couple leaks on it, but um, we're constantly working on equipment. And we're also constantly using this equipment. Um, we've got a, an older style Bobcat that's, uh, that's got foot pedal operation. We also got a new style skid steer over here um, that's pilot operated. Uh, so we've actually had students um, with some disabilities that uh, didn't have use of um, either their legs or one side of their body, they can still operate certain types of equipment such as that skidster and the bulldozer. Uh, we've got a, a pr fairly new mini excavator. Uh, it's only two years old. We got a nice grant, I guess it was, to be able to purchase the two New Holland pieces of equipment that you see here. Um, so those are only two years old uh, to add to our arsenal, which is really good. We do have a, a Ferris lawnmower. Uh, that we teach the kids on just because a lot of our students get to go into landscaping when they get out of here uh, and they graduate and most of the people that have la uh, landscape uh, operations in New York um, have ferris or at least some kind of ferris type lawnmowers so we teach them just the basics on on lawn maintenance and how to use lawnmowers and weed whackers and, and that kind of stuff and we also have lots of different types of attachments to use for all these fun toys that we have Okay, so I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the tour of our conservation program. Um, if you're interested in our program, if you like getting dirty, if you like being outside away from computers and desks, uh, please contact your guidance counselors and let them know. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.